Hey, we in this bitch with the gang, man. Melo, we the ball out of the class, PZD, huh? We tapping in with Perso Sweet. On oh, Hot Thoughts TV. Fuck that time, man. <laughs> Perso Sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beat, man. I'm smoking the Perso Sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Uh, let everybody know, you know, your name, where you from, how you got that name, you know, slash shit. Shit, Melo Mueller. I come from Third Ward, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I really made my own rap name because I had like a, I had another name before that, you know what I'm saying? It was like, I'm growing out of that. It's like I was growing out of that name, so it was like, I can't be no grown ass man. Y'all still caught me where I was, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What was the name? Oh, is it a young old people? It was, they, everybody in the hood, they, they used to call me Itty Bitty. You know what I'm saying? Because I was a little nigga, you know what I'm saying? I'm like 90 pounds running around that bitch. <laughs> Shit, me, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I'm about like E-Class, you know what I'm saying? Well, it was E-Class at first, but I had the bottom in the front, you know what I'm saying? Separate myself. Like I said, think it's another class or something. I ended up finding out. I was school or some shit like that. But, you know what I'm saying? By like class name, um, I ended up changing my shit too, because like, she called me Lil E and shit. You know what I'm saying? And I left, but, like, I ain't, it was too many, like, Lil's and shit. You know what I'm saying? Lil Wayne, all these Lil's. I ain't want to be another Lil, so. You know what I'm saying? I just added the Bala. You know what I'm saying? When uh, my people died. Just add that on, you know what I'm saying? Cause I I had already had it, feel me? Shit, I'm from Third Ward. You know what I'm saying? Shit, no. <clears throat> Shit. Me, I'm, you know, PG Dion. You know, it's just self-explanatory. PG for problem gang, you know. Shit. You know, that just self-explanatory problem gang, you know. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Oh uh, shit, well, I guess we're gonna like, get questions like that. I'm just like, my bad. Shit, just uh, being from that like, community, what was it like for everybody's like, personal experience? You know what I'm saying? Just early shit, school. Shit. Like, shit. We all, we all from Third Ward, so you know, like, we all grew up basically the same way. You know, we probably from different parts, like, you know, it's different, different parts of Third Ward. Like, I'm from Lucky Seven, you know, E class from E class, you know. Bye. E class from the bottom. I'm from Lucky Seven. Melo from Lucky Seven, you know, so me and Melo probably was more more attached, you know, or E class. We was attached with E class too, real close, cause I I I'm from Lucky Seven, but I actually grew up like across Scott. My my part where I'm from, where me and Melo from, is like divided. It's divided from everything else. Like basically, we we divided from everything else. There's another part too, lost all that divided. It's across the freeway. But me and Melo, we like across Scott. But I jumped off the porch like across Scott the other way, like in the bottom with E class one. That's basically <clears> why I jumped off the porch for it, like start thugging and shit, you feel me? It's more old heads where I'm from, you know, type shit. So I start thugging with all the young niggas right right now. I mean, a lot more of the niggas, you feel me? So mm -hmm. shit. For me it was like you know what I'm saying? I grew up in the bottom and shit. You know what I'm saying? But we Stayed in the bricks too, feel me? So I was in the bricks a lot too, like, coming up, but I ain't gonna lie, like, coming up, it's, it's been like a lot of crazy shit going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, now it's just like more gun <coughs> and shit, but coming up, it was, you know what I'm saying? We used to uh, be on a whole lot of fighting shit, you know what I'm saying? When you when you say like how it was and shit, like, they used to be running around the hell doing some crazy shit, but at the same time, like, I always had a mind of my own, you know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> when I was coming up, like, I used to try to, like, like, look at everything, you know what I'm saying? The people that I was surrounded about, around the shit, they, like, stayed on me. You know what I'm saying? Stayed on me. So, even though, like, I was in the hood, had a lot of stuff going on, I still had that section of people to, like, <coughs> be on my ass about certain shit. You know what I'm saying? So, if I did want to do this, <coughs> I make this decision, I had that, you feel me? So it was like I tried to do, tried to do a lot of the different shit. 
But as I start to grow older, start to grow older, you know what I'm saying? When you in that environment, it's like you got to adapt. You feel me? You can't be in that environment and there's a lot of shit going on and you ain't adapting. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't adapting and you don't know how to, you know what I'm saying, maintain <clears throat> where you at and go around by certain shit, you fuck around and get whacked off. You know what I'm saying? Any little thing. So, you know what I'm saying? It was a time she was serious. You know what I'm saying? You can just start adapting to environment. You know what I'm saying? This shit. Shit like today. Shit, shit still going on. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing ever changed. Ain't nothing ever changed. You know what I'm saying? But, <coughs> Shit. <clears throat> it's, really, it's really like what he explained, but it's different for me because I'm from Lucky Seven, but I always lived in the bottom and shit. So it's like all my friends and shit, they was from the bottom. I had been, you know what I'm saying, been across the tracks and shit. Everybody, like, everybody I was running with was in the bottom. Like I used to go to Douglas Park. That's why I used to, that's why I grew up at. That's the park that I grew up at, Douglas Park. You know what I'm saying? Shit. And as far as like the lifestyle and shit <coughs> of me growing up, it's like shit. It's like in the other hood. You know what I'm saying? This shit happened everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Niggas shooting, robbing, going to jail, all that shit. You already know how to cycle go to the hood cycle. Shit, it's just like it was. You know? Yeah. Uh, nigga try to play the, nigga try to play like the school route right? and shit like you feel me like nigga try to play so the school route, right? you know that should be cool you feel me like I ain't, I ain't nothing wrong with that type shit cause I, you know I've been to school you feel me I graduated you feel me type shit but like it was only so long I can just keep the shit going you feel me cause it really wasn't getting me no what type shit you know but school you know you know it was cool you know that's where everybody was at type shit so why not go you feel me. But other than that, you know, like, besides that, like, shit, it was streets, you feel me? Like, that's, that's, that's just like where the money was at type shit. Like, I feel like that's where the bread was at type shit. Like, you know, I'm in school, you know, that's where the fun is. But shit, when I'm in the streets, I'm getting some money, you know, type shit. So I'd rather be where the money is, shit. So you feel me? That's how the streets, like, that's how I got involved with the streets type shit, you feel me? Like, everything else just picked up, you know, as far as, like, all this other shit, like, you know, beef or whatever else you want to say, type shit. That shit just came with the streets, you feel me? But like, streets, I, the money, like, that's why, that's how I got involved with the streets, type shit. But shit, you know. Mm -hmm. Good. So, uh, friends, y'all all like, not from the same place, but the same place at the time. How did y'all exactly cross paths? <clears throat> like, when was that moment? Maybe it might have been different times, but when y'all met, then when y'all met, how exactly did that come into play? I mean, shit, I wouldn't say, like, like, I can't recall, like, a specific, you know what I'm saying? But shit, like, when you in the hood, everybody you know, be running around, around that yeah. like, You know, we all been you know around, saying? you yeah. feel me? We might not have said nothing to each other, but we always been around type sure, shit, you sure. feel me? Like, like outside but, type shit? Yeah, yeah, like, we all, yeah, like, yeah. I probably been running with somebody that E-Class fuck with, or that Melo fuck with, you feel yeah. me? So, I'm around E-Class and Melo, you type shit, but I ain't never said nothing to him, but we gon', you know, we gon' end up breaking bread, or you feel me? Yeah. You know, you know, breaking ice type shit and they end up talking, chopping it up type shit, you feel me? But with us type shit, I ain't gonna lie, we been around though. Like, you wanna just never know oh, who this is or who that is. Like, I know his mama, like, I know his mama type yeah. shit. Like, so we been around type shit. This ain't, this ain't just no new, no new niggas type shit. Like, hey, damn, bitch, oh, damn, what's up with that nigga from type shit? Nah, nah, we been around shit like sandbox, like, yeah. kicking sand around together type shit, you feel me? Shit, shit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, the music, yeah, man. Oh, my bad. Nah, I was just saying like shit, everybody just, like I said, but running around the motherfucking trenches and shit, you got running to everybody, everybody come together and shit, you know what I'm saying, different cases and shit. This is how it is. <clears throat> so like, the music, how did that really come into play? Like when did y'all each decide like, man, I'm gonna fuck around, I'm gonna see what it's talking about, what it could do, cause you know it is a... Yeah, know? shit. For me, I started, I've been rapping since, six, since I was six years old. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to always be one freestyle, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, I need freestyle, like, in class and shit. I used to, like, I used to get my <clears throat> class work. You know what I'm saying? I used to be writing raps on the back of my shit. Turn my, turn my work in, you know what I'm saying? Rap something. Sometimes it's incomplete. 
know what I'm saying? All that type. So I was just always freestyling, you know what I'm saying? Freestyling. Beating on this in class, you know what I'm saying? I was always like, I'm outspoken, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'ma just do it. You feel me? You just get a cool little reaction. They used to turn everybody up, you know what I'm saying? So, it just went from there. I used to do like different kind of music because I know how to rap, you know what I'm saying? So I just used to rap. I used to do like gospel growing up. I did a little gospel music, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? I just start growing up as as the years went by. <clears throat> I branched out to what I really just wanted to do, you know what I'm saying? Was hip hop. I was doing hip hop too at the same time, but I had like different stuff going on, you know what I'm saying? Like I was a little hip hop mascot on TV, you know what I'm saying? I used to go to different schools. Even when I was in school, I was touring, going to different schools, putting on shows, you know what I'm saying? Even going back to school, you feel me? I used to, <clears throat> it's like a little cartoon, you just come on TV. You know what I'm saying? I used to, I used, it's like pre-recorded, you know what I'm saying? So I was the voiceover, I used to make, you know what I'm saying? Different little music, little, different, little, little, different little songs, you feel me? Yeah, like I say, I just found out, like once I branched out from that, I guess I started growing old and started going through different shit in life, like what I really wanted to do, you feel me? I just started just rapping like that, you know what I'm saying? It been enough from since, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you were making this shit like, <clears throat> My brother was rapping at first, you know what I'm saying? And then I used to always see him, like, you know what I'm saying? He'd be like, damn, that shit live. Like, he could go in there and make a song, like, and people listen to it, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I, I wish I could do that, you know what I'm saying? But he used to always be like, nah, you know what I'm saying? You, you just take the school route type shit, you know what I'm saying? But long story short, he ended up getting shot in the head, you know what I'm saying? That shit had kind of fucked up his ability to rap. Like, he wasn't the same as he was before. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, shit, maybe I can do it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I can, I can do the legacy. You know what I'm saying? But what had really got me, like, on to the shit was, like, I was in jail when I had wrote a little song and shit. I used to beat on my bunk and sing that hoe. And, like, the whole, my whole dorm learned the song. You know what I'm saying? I like, used to tell me hit that hoe every night. I'd be like, damn, like, these people know my song. So I'm like, maybe I can do this in the free world. And shit, that's how I started getting on to the shit. Shit. I ain't gonna lie, I just started fucking with this major shit. I ain't gonna lie, like, like, just like start fucking with like recently. Like, just dropped my first video like five days ago type shit. So, you know, like, I'm new to this shit. I had like, like, like he, like Melo say, like jail really would buy me to this music. I used to be, I was in jail, you feel me, type shit, like bored, locked down, you feel me, writing music and shit, and I just be listening to this shit. This time I said, like, damn, nah, you really hard, bitch. I ain't gonna lie. You can get out and feel like, I ain't gonna lie, you children. Feel me? I just be rapping that shit to the whole dorm and just see myself having the dorm turned up, like everybody in that hoe, like jumping, like, Bitch, you gotta get out of the rap, bitch. I swear to God, you, you feel me? Like, that's what kind of motivated me, type shit. So I got out of that. You feel me? And I just started rapping shit. Like, and I already, people used to tell me, like, you look like a rapper, bitch. Like, like how I carry myself, you feel me? Like, type shit, I'm gonna stay clean, you know, keep, some, keep me some money, type shit, you feel me? So <coughs> I just went for it, type shit, you know, it's looking good right now, too. So, hey. I see, as far as this coming together, it's like, you know what I'm saying? We always been around each other, like, shit show me and the Ray, like, you know what I'm saying, doing music. When we was growing up, like, around the O&B days, you know what I'm saying, we was doing music. No cap, like, if you're doing music in Third World, you went through him, for sure. The Ray. He's, <clears throat> come on, man. And we gotta give it to him. You know what I'm saying? We just, just be doing music and shit growing up, so. We all, you know what I'm saying, always been around each other, like, doing music, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, we from the same hood, so, you know what I'm saying, from, <clears throat> from with Dion, you know what I'm saying, and Melo, everybody just, you know what I'm saying, doing music, we just come together. It's like, it's, it's, it just makes sense, like, we all from the same place. Everybody I already know two years better than one, shit, imagine four. You know what I'm saying? Niggas hard too, like, like, like niggas hard, like everybody see him, see him right now, like, hard, like, 